All right, everybody, welcome back to Creative yes. Chat. Join us as Peter and Hosolito pick up where they left off in our after show convo. Right, right. Streaming from Retro Earth Studio and brought to you by WeAreHistorically.com. Conscious brand apparel. Level up your life and raise your vibration with specialized Fibonacci tuning forks. Get your vibrational sound tools for your personal enhancement at energybodytuners.com. The after show. So how did you know when you were dancing that there was this energetic connection, that there was this union with just that pureness of your being and the movement itself. I think one time I'm on the stage and I, they're snapping pictures, right? And I'm on the stage. This is when I started to swirl with the world, okay? Like really, swirl with the world, right? I turn and I glance down to my foot, down my foot and my toe was peeling up off the floor. So the toe, this is the mm. floor, the floor, it was peeling, it was still attached to the floor. The foot was still attached, okay? Yeah. And I looked at my foot doing that. That's the moment that I went, I am connecting and reconnecting and pulling in and pulling out because someone Ooh. snapped that shot and I have it somewhere. And I caught myself in the wonderment of the moment of the moment of the picture. Does that make sense? Wow. Like, like yeah. it's got 18 different dimensions. Okay. So as I looked down at that energy, it was flowing and my toe was not, it was still on the ground because as a dancer, you, hmm. everything is being connected to the ground. Okay. And it's how you don't want to just land. You want to peel. You want to come back down. You want to use that softness. You want to caress that, you know, mm. as, as a technique. Um, I like that. And so when I, that's when I learned, like, I am a vessel. I am connected. Holy shit. What? Like, okay. Okay. And speaking of which, you know what I think is really funny right now? Uh, is that, um, yeah, this is really funny. I've always snuck a picture of my grandmother and my grandfather onto the stage, always. In, in a prop, mm. it'll be on a picture on the table, it'll be in a bowl, it'll be, off, it'll be on the actual stage, so I'm always dancing with them, okay? So I, oh, that's I beautiful. just, yeah, yeah. So I'm always mm. kind of being in that, it's just, but that's, I don't know if that answered your question. That's kind of when I kind of, yeah, yeah. that's kind of oh, when I yeah. went, oh, God, I'm connected. And I'm not, I think I was always afraid of losing it. Mm. Oh, it's going to go away. It's going to go away. Like everything they've taken away from me, this is also going to go away. Right? Wow. Interesting. And it didn't. Yeah. That realization that you are one with source. You are one with life. Mm. Now, in this city. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yo, I have a question for you because the experiences you had as a kid, being able to see these types of ancient ceremonies and rituals, I guess I got to say, like, how much of that was really just this magical experience as a kid? Like, how did that even, how did that even pro like change the way you see all of this reality? Because being exposed to that type of magic early on and to, and to have a taste that it's real. I don't know. That's like, that's something that I feel like a lot of people don't even get to experience until they're like late, late in the game, you know? And that's why I say I am one of the most luckiest and I am and, and very grateful because I was brought up in that curismo. Like I was in the depths of it. I was the, I was the, I was the one that was, I'm not saying I'm the chosen one. No, no, no. Because you got to remember, I'm not the only grandchild. There was tons of them. Yeah. I mean, I think there's 13 in my mom's family. Okay. And then they had kids and they were having, Whoa. their kids were having kids. Okay. So, okay. But I am Licha mm -hmm. and Pepe's kid. Okay. I'm Joselito. Mm -hmm. I'm the, el I'm the oldest. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but when you're thrown into all of that mix and you're thrown into that tejano where you have to where you have to play the 45s you have to play the tejano hits you have the record stacks you this music takes you back and you you dig the hole and you cook the cow's head for barbecue in the pozo all of these things all of these yeah. rituals all and you're part of that and you can hear the men you can you can you can go to the bathroom, open the window, and all the men are sitting up against the house w- cooking the barbecue and talking and smoking their cigarettes and drinking their beer and talking their shit. And then you can go into the kitchen and all the ladies are sitting down. And then you go out to the front porch and all the kids are all mixed and, and we're building pyramids and we're stacking and we're loving each other. Okay? Yeah. We're loving it. That's before I was in that mix. Mm. I was in that mix. And I was told that I was not going to be accepted in that mix ever again because of my sexuality from my father and my mother. Hmm. And I came out to Seattle, 83. And then all of a sudden, a lesbian cousin of mine calls me. Hi, I found you. What? Yeah, I have a partner and I, I'm a lesbian. <gasps> huh? And then all the cousins started coming back to me. Oh, all of them. They were like, Jody, we don't fucking give a shit. We miss you. Yeah. We miss you. And that's when I went, Am I worth that? Am I am I worth going back to them? Can I shine my graces on them? The Mm. one thing that I didn't talk about that I would have liked to now that I think about is I was talking about my grand, I mean, going to see my Thea, right? Yeah. I gave her a healing and a blessing, okay? Now, you got to remember how intimidating that is or was, or I thought, because she Mm. was his assistant. (laughs) Do you understand what I'm saying here? (laughs) She was his assistant, okay? Yeah. So when I did her healing, she goes, oh my gosh. And I sat her down. She didn't want the healing at first. I gave them to everybody else. And da, 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 da. and I said, and then she goes, I want mine now. And I'm like, oh, shit. I was hoping she wouldn't. Because <laughs> she's my grandpa's assistant. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know what you're doing. <laughs> that, that pressure came in. And she, and I sat oh. her. She's on a wheelchair. She's, I sat her. I made everything comfortable for her. Mm. And then I started. And she just closed her eyes and she goes, <gasps> She just took that breath and she went, Jody, 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 it's so beautiful. Jody, Mm. it's it's in here. Jody, I see so many stars. And then she said, My daddy, my daddy's coming. My daddy's coming. My daddy's here. And she started speaking that way. Like that's my daddy. I and then when I started burning all of wow. the, um, when I started burning all of the oils and all of the resins, right? She goes, "It smells like my daddy. You smell like my daddy." That's when I knew, like, I got this. <laughs> Let's do this reading. The torch has been passed. Like, like I just, <laughs> and then I just gave her her reading. I kid you not. She stood up from her wheelchair. She stood up and she goes, wow. I'm going to walk again. I love that. It's the beginning, right? Yeah. So it's that, that path, you, you put them along their way. And when other entities, like uh, beautiful angels, like when these little kid angels come to me or whatever, and I was talking to my dad about them, my dad goes, hey, mm. got to be careful with that because that's the devil playing tricks on you. It's pretending that it's a beautiful thing and it's making you go that way. I go, Hey, dad, I've wrestled with some evil spirits. I know what they feel like. So I said to him, he he kind kind, kind of got a little upset because I said, I know what God feels like in my heart. Mm. 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 See, that's a huge cul-de-sac that then again, it's not a knock to anyone, but I, I feel one of the biggest misconceptions and traps of that window of religion, you know, is that it. It is that, as you see that window, it disconnects you. Right. It disconnects you from that nature with that metaphor you use, that immersion with God. It takes you away from the sense that's like, you are God embodied. We're all God embodied. Right, right. 
And to ever discount that and discredit it, it naturally brings us back to that self-worthlessness. Right. You right. know, and just to see that journey of coming back home to the heart unfolding is always just so right. magical. And, and just to know that you've had this kind of, the way I see it, it's like a, it's a crazy movie, man. Like I got some to add though. When you talked about drinking the cups of coffee, it's not a ghost that lifts the cup and is drinking and absorbing the coffee, right? It's spirit, it's energy, right? Okay. Mm. Why is it easy for us to imagine ghosts, demons, and devils? Like, oh, it's the devil. Like, maybe, like, it's easier to imagine ghosts, devils, and demons than it is for angelic beings. Right, right. For our ancestors. Or ancestors or God. Yeah. But yeah. yet, it could be the devil. Like, the devil we believe in. <laughs> God yeah, we have absolutely. trouble with. Why is that? And the devil's already inside. Hello? It already snuck in. You're so busy. This is what I told my, believe me, I've had my fights with them. I mean, my arguments or what have you. You're so busy guarding yourself from the devil. He's already in there, mamas. He's already yeah. in there. Okay. It's already this negative negativity that you are spewing. <laughs> What's really funny is you just, the way you just said that. So the way that I see like the ego or these forces that a lot of religion has talked about of like the temptation is just the kind of the, the animalistic, the, the body itself, the feedback from this fleshly vehicle that picks up the sensory perceptions. And it's really just that fight or flight or freeze mechanic, like mechanical body right, that, right. that helps us live and navigate this very spiritual playground that we're in. Yet when you close yourself off from love, Ultimately, it's that aspect of you're creating your own shadow. You're right. creating your own darkness because we are that light that's always trying to unfold. And that's like this whole aspect of this, the theme of surrender that came back up with the part one. It just it's everything you're saying is the more we let go of, the more we surrender to and accept, the more we start to receive from life. And just to see your really journey and how different aspects have opened up and gotten stronger for what it sounds like or more apparent and it's just beautiful to know that as you continue to lean into that love you just receive more and more grace grace elegance royalty regalness everybody loves everybody feels that at some point when i feel it i'm in it and it doesn't just go away as a thought. I make sure to embed it into my D. It's in there so that when I walk, I'm approachable because of my elegance. I'm not, I'm not talking about ego here, puppies. I'm yeah. talking about the talk about brotherhood and the beauty of the masculinity and the men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a beautiful, powerful thing. Yeah. When you can go, oh, wow, I'm learning so much about my elegance and my regal and my king and how many, how many yeah. slices of the lime today to pour onto the table of manifestation, right? I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the no, honey. The, because the king. The king. I, I understand that. I get it now. Okay. I, I get it. I get it. Woo, China City. It's it's a beautiful happening, man. It's the realization that in order for us to really come back to the divine where we're embodied, it is to reclaim the throne, so to speak, right? Well, well, that's what we're talking about, right? Regal, uh, throne, yeah. power, power in that beautiful way of that golden light as opposed to, a, because I guarantee you, well, I know from experience, I, that's, I'm not, I'm, I know from experience, the minute I let go and i was on my throne i was thrown off immediately yeah and In what light holding on i gotta be number one i gotta do i gotta mm. and then when i just allowed i stayed on that throne when i just I allowed that. when i just allowed all of the things that just to come through and they just went through my booty. They went through my booty. Okay. They went mm. through my body and I was like, and I am still on this throne. And what can we do today together? Not what can I mm. do for you? No, 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 no. That's chingadera. That's a bunch of, no. What can we do today? <laughs> oh my 
like that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Preaching the words, John in Yo, the city. It's great. Well, it's it's just it's the truth, and it's right. the stuff that we you said it earlier, where it's like this is the type of vibration and energy that's coming right. through more and more. That authenticity, and it's that pure expression of self to be yourselves. That's like the one. If I see if there's a few things that we're tasked on this plane, like the top one is to be our most authentic self. You know, and we have to go through that journey of questioning who we are, what is life for us to really come back to that sense of self. But it is this process of just stripping away all these conditionings and past pains and healing that inner child to really reclaim the throne and to stand upon it with that elegance of just effortlessness. Like you said it perfectly to be of service. When you really wash everything away and you are of service, that's when you become that vessel for life to flow through you. I totally, I totally get your states. <laughs> I love that. The, like the more, the more I remember, I talked a little bit about dissecting the word, right? More dimensional thinking about, but it, but it's not like scholastic. It's heartlastic. Ooh, China City. Okay, I like that. It's heartlastic. Yeah. It's not scholastic. It's about, for example, I'll write the word down. Now I'll fold the page and I'll write the word now. And then on the other side of the page, what am I doing now? Ooh, I'm going to walk mm. outside and put my feet on the ground. Ooh, what did I do? Wrote that down. I go to the next thing. Okay, give. Ooh, I'm going to give someone a phone call right now. Right now. Okay, I practice what the fuck I preach. Now listen to me. It. I'm not talking about. Uh, I want you to be successful and you're going to go and get that job. You know, no, 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 no. I'm talking about, hey, I know what it's like to put $3 of gas in your car. In your car. Yeah. I know what it's like to eat peanut butter and baked potatoes for dinner for a whole month. Hmm. I know what it's like to be called a faggot. I know what it's like to... Uh, to be down and to not find another way out. Mm. But what did I do? And how can I help you because of what I did to shape me, to shift me, to switch that energy around? Because there's nothing negative here in this vessel, puppies. I, I've worked Facts. too, I, I've tried too hard to, you know, when I started chanting, I was, ch I went to the chant. And I was going to go to this gay chanting Buddhist thing. And mm. I was excited about that. And it got canceled because only there was, only, you know, it got canceled for some reason. So there was a regular chanting, you know, heterosexual thing, quote, right? A straight mm. thing. Okay. So I'm like, oh, God, okay, I'll go. So I go. And then all of a sudden I park my car and this huge center, you can hear, you can hear this and I all of a sudden the vibration went fucking queen or no queen I'm walking in there okay and I walked in and they were all going and I just that sound opened my I was like Whoa, day. Ooh, I felt so pretty. I've never felt so pretty. Wow. Hmm. So there was a little old lady that was chanting and I sat right next to her. And she must have been about 80. No lie. Maybe early 70s. No, but late 70s. And I'm sitting and she's like got her chanting beats and she's like, and I'm like next to her, you know, trying to get into the groove. And so I'm like, I don't, I don't know, but I like this. So I'm the one like this, loving all of it. And they're all chanting, right? Yeah. Then I, I don't know. I elbowed her to get her attention. Rude, Joselito. Okay. So I elbowed her and I go, excuse me, ma'am. What is it that you're chanting for? And she goes, I'm chanting for better sex with my husband. <laughs> And I said, you better sign me up for this right now, okay? Because here is this little old lady chanting for better sex with her husband. What about that is beautiful? All of it. 
that we're a human condition, right? That we're humans and that love is beautiful and that sex is beautiful at 70, 80 years old, that you got to get your groove on, mamas. You got to get your groove on. So I said, if she's chanting about that, can you imagine what I can chant for? Like there is no Mm. prejudice with this God. There is no prejudice. Yeah. So right away I went into Nambi Hore and get your home and I need Jesus or Jesus on my Anjoni and go Sharatsu. Like I went yeah. and I did it and I found that and it 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 lifted me up because mm. if someone can chant for better sex with their husbands, how authentic to the heart are they being? Are they being mm. honest right now, you guys, with the real life of what's going on and desires and wants and hopes and needs? That's fucking beautiful. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. I love that. Yeah. So many experiences like that that really do just humble our perspective. And it's that path of humility that I find that the 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 realist of realists, the the healers that I've come to encounter like yourself, it's always been that process of humility refining and awakening right. that truth that you knew in your heart as a kid and coming to own it. So the healer's journey the one thing that really stuck out to me is that common aspect of curiosity, especially when combined with the rebellion nature, if it doesn't go down the super like toxic addictive paths, I mean, I've gone down all that shit before, you know what I mean? But it's just like, yes, yes. It's a secret sauce for some magical stuff because it's the introspection. It's that energy to always keep pushing to, to see what life is presenting you to kind of dig deeper into it. And is that something that always was kind of constant or did it really just like pick up pace as things kind of continue to progress? All of the above, because what happens is I bumped into a lot of walls, but I was going up. Mm, Here's the part that was really interesting. And what was my sexuality was actually the thing that was holding me up. Mm. When I really, because when I realized that We're powerful beings made of stars. Of course we have to explode. Of course we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. Wow. My sexuality really, like, I think gay people sometimes are, when they're loud, they're loud because you don't understand. You just don't fucking understand how great it is to just kind of, Ooh, but maybe you do within yourself, okay? And then the other thing is, Joselito, bump into some walls. It's okay. Slide down, pick yourself up again, roll up the sleeve. What happened, Nico? Oh, you got a little scratch. Oh, yeah. kiss it better, okay? Kiss. I started healing that child, right? Kiss it yeah. better, papi. You know, Um when, 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 when something bad is going to happen to me, or actually when I get getting a warning, those are, that's a harsh way of looking at it, but little Jody always appears. And what he does for me is he puts a bed full of roses and flowers all on the ground. Mm. And he grabs my hand and he says, let's lay down and look at the stars together on this bed of roses. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm. That's when I know intuitively that I'm going to get that call from someone that's going to be an ass to me. We're going to calm you down so that you don't bite back. Okay. Because that Mm. doesn't work for you anymore. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't work. They want you to stay in your lane. They know loves your light. They're like, loves your vibration. You don't need anything else. And it's the truth. It's the hell of truth. So (laughs) these, the, when, when you're able to look at it in the mirror, when they come together like this and you just put, you, you look at it and, and you go, why was I so afraid to look into those big brown eyes? Why mm. was, so, I look at how beautiful those eyes are. Look at how, be, oh my gosh, I, let me see your soul. Oh, yeah. Joselito, good morning. Hey, papi, what's up, baby? It's not vain. It's... No. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to bump into the walls and to document that and to reformate that so that I can share that with others and help them along the way. Mm. Mm. That process of the inner child healing, for some reason, 
as we all know, you know, in this sense here, our beingness goes beyond the physical. We go right. beyond what we can even comprehend right. in this material world. Right. And that aspect of what really happens in this process when we're going through these traumatic experiences where we compartmentalize that, that younger self just really does take that sidestep and just waits until we're ready to heal them. The thing that really just resonated with me is that fact that it's like, I've always seen that as a metaphor. Uh, but that's a, to me, as you express it, it's a true energetic happening. Our oh, spirit, our, 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 yeah. our essence oh, splits. Oh, hell yes. It's like, what? Oh, oh, oh shit, oh, that oh. makes so much sense. Because I've, I've, mm. I've had experiences where it's like, you are, it's like you are talking that inner voice, that ex, that, mm -hmm. that other mm -hmm. being. And you're like, it's a, it's a different mm -hmm. energy and everything. Like, oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I speak to higher Joselito, it's in a light blue notebook. And he's just all of the things. Go and do. You know the answer to that question. You yeah. know. You you did it last. You know wh why you okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Do it. Go, yeah. go. When I talk to little Joselito, Joselito, he's more creative. He's like, hey, the production. Okay, let's call this person, this person, and this person. Let's get them together. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right, Bobby. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, and what what what's what's the soundtrack to huh? Joselito? Little Jody's always telling me what's the record today. What are you going to play? What do you want to play? Like what are you going to play? Okay. Like and then that. I, here it is. Okay. My little portable record player. Okay. Okay. So I'm always honoring little Jody. Let's pop that record on. Let's turn that on. And let's just go, you know, because that is where I connect. Mm. The joy. The See, all I had to hear was, three words from that record and my tia Florinda is coming in my tia my tío Manuel <laughs> they're all coming through and they're like oh orale where's the accordion man where's the accordion okay so yeah. it's mm. not is it crazy I think to myself so what can you imagine how many people were locked up because they were feeling these things oh powerful right I mean they were just seeing divinity OK, mm. now there's different cases. I understand that. But think about all of the misdiagnosed stuff that has been going on when yeah. I channel immediately. But see, that's why it's in my DNA as a human. So that when I leave, I'm I, I done my work. I done my work. You know, <laughs> I've done my work, but yeah. it's not work on like showing off. No, 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 exactly. no, yeah. mijo. no. It's about mm. being present. What does this feel like right now? Hmm. I have, a, I have an interesting question for you. Do you feel like things finally clicked when your life transitioned to this path of service and this level? When Christ, like love, and by the way, I, I, I love when you say that because when when I was debating whether or not to put a picture of Christ up by my altar for my grandfather, I said, mm, I'm not sure yet. I could have the Buddhist altar there for sure, like I told you earlier. Yeah. But when, uh, but Christ, I am not like when, when I had an entity of an angel come to see me and I said, I am not worthy. I don't walk in your presence. I am not good enough and I am not mm. worthy of your light. And this little angel says to me, Psst, come here, Psst, come here. And I went, no, 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 no. I am, I am that of gaiety and you are that of angelity. So we, you know what? I'm going to go to the devil. So you, I'm sorry, wow. you've got the, you've got the wrong guy is what I said. And you know what this angel told me? He said, if you won't go with me, will you dance with me? And I am a dancer. Fire. Just like, you're speaking my language. And so I said, of course, because to me, it was safe to dance, right? But I yeah. didn't know what he was going to do to me. But I, I surrendered at that moment. And the minute I said yes, we swirled. We swirled mm. above my bed. And he says to me, no, 
We started laughing like we were three and six and five. We started laughing. And then he took me somewhere. We traveled. That's why I explained to you earlier how when I leave my body, how it works, right? Yeah. yeah. And then at the very end, he says to me, he comes back and we come back down because I had given him, I had had this vision and I was with this little boy. He was wearing a black coat with a cone, 1969 coat, zip up. I turn him around. There's an empty fountain with nothing in it, just dead leaves from the fall beautiful colors though they're you know just colorful leaves and i i I grab his shoulders and i kind of gently move him towards the fountain and i says to him isn't that beautiful there's no water in there but look at that and he Mm. he was just a beautiful little boy and he just stood there and his cone his cone head you know from his from his coat was just shake yeah and then after that, it was when I felt that tug. Hey, psst, let's go. Come here. I want to take you somewhere. Yeah. And then I said, no, no, no. That's, you know. We flew and I could smell. It was autumn. I could smell every color. I could smell every, I could smell every color. I could smell I every that. tree. I could yeah. smell all the, I could smell everything. And then the, I could smell the particles in the air. Mm. Okay. What makes up air? I could smell that. OK, hmm. so then we, we do this dance and he, we laugh and we joyfully and he takes me to that fountain that I show him. He takes me there. OK. And then he brings me back to the bed and then he brings me down and I just lay there. Very soft. By the way, I was teaching kindergarten. OK, I taught 14 years. I, for, I taught kindergarten for 14 years. OK, so. I'm sitting there and this little angel right before he leaves and disappears, he goes, Hey, hey, thank you for what you do for us. Mm. That's all he said. And I just said, you're welcome. After that, I never doubted the spirit of angels and or you know, light beings, right? Yeah. I just, I, I didn't because I experienced, and that's the story that I was sharing with my father that he said, oh, that's the devil playing games with you. Okay. Wow. That's, that's that story. But I hope I answered your question. <laughs> I don't know what, you know, I mean, as far as like being connected, knowing, figuring out that, there isn't really, there really isn't anything to figure out. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. there really isn't, you know, it's an unfolding mystery. It is. Every time. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. But being authentic to the walk. Right. Ooh, yeah. 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 The journey to the, I mean, it's again, it's, it, they always say it's that cliche line, like the, the it's, what is it? It's the journey that's more important than the destination. It's just like, I mean, in this sense, that's all we do is just walk in life is just throwing those blocks underneath our feet. We just got to keep moving. And the faster we go, the more it's going to do it for us. Mm. On to something, man. Yeah. It's a lovely I, thing. I mean, is, is this not just one divine video game? I know this technology, the old way, whatever way, whatever way, there's always a way. Okay. Yeah. How music videos whatever it is gurism whatever it is it's still full it's full yeah. okay mm. this morning i woke up with all of these a, a vision of beautiful beautiful bowls empty bowls and i went what do i get to fill them with today Ooh. What do I get to fill this bowl with today? I like that. <laughs> Ooh. And then I don't know if I told you guys about the co- the coconut wash. Did I tell you that I had a coconut Ooh. cleansing? You had a coconut cleansing. Was that in Texas or was that recently? No, Child in the City. I got to get, ooh, y'all got to experience this. This person did this coconut. And as soon as she broke that water, from that coconut, 
it hit the bowl and then it just jumped back at me and I just went, oh my God, coconut water. It, oh my God. Then she fixed it up with some herbs and she, she took the white meat of the coconut and she shredded it and then she put it on my head and then I wrapped my head with a white towel and I slept with it. It was a bitch to sleep with. Okay. Cause like, okay. I woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Pow. I hear the coconut break again and I hear the hammer and then I hear the water. And then all of a sudden I look at my bed and my sheets, the colors of my sheets were going in and out. The colors Mm. of my sheets were going. So this is the sheet here. The colors were going in and out. Wow. Okay. I looked at my wall. The wall was the green from the wall was running to one side and then to the other side. And I just went, what? And then I just went, <laughs> what's going on? Did they slip something in me? Did I take a drug? What, what, what the hell? Then I went like this to the wall and I scooped some of that green. Okay. Mm. And I could feel mm. that green. And then I just started to wash my body with it. And since that moment in time, mm. I've been able to pull color off of where it is and bring that color towards me or that energy. Interesting. See, that's the real trippy part too, because there's been a few different experiences where those moments of deep relaxation really hit and the eyes just kind of just pick up all the little subtleties and it's funny with like the white walls i'll notice it's almost that like it's kind of like when you squint your eyes and you're looking at a light Mm -hmm. they kind of just like raise into those ribbons it's almost like a lot of that but really thin and just just almost ripples and then things start to breathe a little and that right there is like i get what you're talking about in the sense of the everything we're living in is this matrix of energy And if we understand our role within it, that we are this being of energy that is able to manifest and create and push and pull, that's just like, okay, cool. New, new thing unlocked. You can start to manipulate and play with the energies of everything in manifestation. That's like the divine playground and the abilities. That is a divine playground. That is divine, divine. Mm. My favorite part with energy, because as a Reiki master, I don't like to do the Reiki thing. Okay, hey, okay, let's get up. No, 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 no. I have to put three coals of resin underneath my Reiki table. Okay, do it the mm. way my grandfather did. Take the egg over people, and they're like, scream it, scream into this egg, babies. We're going to take that shit out of your body. Come on now. But the thing that I love so much now is after all of the cleansing, you sit them down, and then I go, I want you to put your hands on your heart Mm. and I just want you to pull and I want you to see what your heart looks like. I want you to see that energy in your hand and we're sitting there and then they're holding and they're saying to me, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. And I say to them, yeah, it is, isn't it? We're not taught that that what we're feeling, we can pull, pull back in, we can protect. So we just get really freaked out. Oh, the brujo. Oh, the shit. Oh, they put a spell on shit. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Because you let that shit in. Okay. Yeah. You let it in, papi. So my favorite part Mm. is when we start to pull and we just go, oh, look. And like when the client will go, oh, can I see yours? Mm. 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 That's okay. when I go, you're there. You're there. You're on the wall mm. with me because I get frustrated. You got to remember, mm. and I say this yeah. with respect, you guys, yeah. it's hard. It's lonely at the top. Okay. No, no, no. And I, I, I don't say this with ego, right? It's like, I totally get it. No, you, you get it, right? Like, it's lonely. Like, oh my God. And, but when you can get on the wall, with your Joselito, you know, we're going to be together like this, looking down that wall and going, oh, that's really great. Look at that. They, they've gathered in our, in our, in our park bench, right by our mm. tree. 
Look at that. Oh, look at these people over here. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty. Look at the way they walk. Look at the trails. Look at the snail they leave, the snail trail they leave behind. Look at that beautiful energy. Yeah. When you can see it in that, when you can see it like that, then I used to think, I want to have good dreams. Oh, I want to get laid in my dreams. Okay. I want, I, 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 I want to, you know, I want to have, you know, I, I want to be pleasured. I want to be everything. I don't want to touch myself. Everything just come to me like that little old lady, right? Like, come on, come on. And then all of a sudden, it would go in a whole different direction. Ooh, it yeah. would go into like, this is love much more than you've been dreaming of. This is light. Mm. This is violet light. How about mm. this? Uh, what I thought I was going to be experienced was completely different. It was colors. Mm. It was the passing of the ships and people seeing each other and blessing mm. each other. It's just a gorgeous thing. Uh, because I think what I realized is that I was allowing myself to feel all of the feels and not to direct what I want so much. Yes, that right there, the willingness to allow things to be. So you're not just hyper-focused trying to predetermine things. It's that crazy and assumption. It, and it works yeah. well with the manifestation. Leave it yeah. alone, let it lay, love on it. Oh, you can love on it. Yeah, you, can, yeah, yeah. you can love on it, but don't obsess over it. No. And that's the Aquarian famous tagline, right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know everything. I know. You know, that's the that's tagline, cool. right? That's what we say all the time. But I think for me, I know is now soft. I mm. know is now kind. Yeah. I know is now mine. Okay. That I am that's that self-awareness. There's nothing more. It just leads you to everything. And yep. I'm curious because in terms of the blessing, you said it when your ships are passing, you're blessing the ships. One thing that really resonates with me is my own experiments with just blessing and praying over food and water. And I've been doing some ones with people who are a little bit more skeptical to these things and doing a little blind taste test and having me like try things before. And then, you know, asking for permission, like, can I, can I bless your orange juice? Like, for example, I did this with my cousin and um, he had the exact same things that I perceived is the acidity went down, the sweetness came up. And it tasted way less artificial and actually tasted more like fresh squeeze. And to, for me, like, it's interesting how we all perceive this intangible realm too, because for me, one of the things that I feel is I feel the energetic shift when it arises. I feel like a buildup in the hand. And then it almost is like, cause I'm just pouring my love into it. I was just like, Ooh, let me just, let me just pour my love to bring out the best of this nectar to, to really awaken mm -hmm. that pureness mm -hmm. and to, to get rid of all the imbalances and to realign it. And you can feel like the hand just gets glowy, glowy, glowy. And then it's almost just like a, it's done like the microwave. Ding. Yeah. And I'm just like, Oh, that tastes delicious. And past it. It's like, Oh shit. Like there's some more magic to these things. And it comes back full circle again because you said a lot of these things are opening up more for people. I'm seeing that happen at like a rapid pace in terms of the sensitivity. So just in terms of our listeners that are also experiencing these things, I'm curious, like how did you tone things down or dial it down so it wasn't so overwhelming when you were first really oh, having a lot of these things? Dude, like there was no fucking way I was going to turn down the wonderment. Like oh, no oh fucking God. way. Like this was a the best Hollywood movie ever fucking ever the best. <laughs> this is like the best. Um, what do they call it? Effects. CGI. Yeah. Okay. Because my grandfather made the whole sky turn purple. Okay. For, to yeah. get my attention for that something violet, that was going to happen. Okay. That violet. That. Whoa. And then I was like, Ooh, the sky is violet. And he's like, <laughs> Hey, wake up, wake up. This is not for your entertainment. No, 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 no. This is to get oh. your attention. This is to get your attention to now turn. Oh, that woman up is going to get hit by a car. I got to go help her cross the street. Okay. Yeah. Those things. But at first it was like, oh no. Okay. My tia floating that's up in here. She's in the kitchen. Okay. Because I can smell her perfume and she's going, I just did that to get your attention. You got to call your cousin today because she's not feeling well. Mm. oh okay but before say like, don't leave no but see remember don't leave don't leave like i was telling my grandmother when she get no no yeah. no 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 let her leave let her Ooh. leave 
let her leave, mijo, because what you think you've what you think you've lost, you're only gonna gain more of. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Because what you think you lost is not going away. It's like that energy going past the fingertips and coming back to you. Same thing. Mm. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. So yeah, the wonderment, but I held on to the wonderment for a long time. Like things were like, like I've seen, like, mm. for example, watching the coffee cup go low. I watched the coffee cup go low. Yeah. And I was like, Whoa, no, <laughs> this is just to get your attention, puppy. This is not about look at the cup. Yeah. Right. Who says that cup? Okay. Oh, that's for Flora. What are you saying? Oh, call Flora. Okay. Hey, Flora, what's up? Well, no, I haven't been able to get to the doctor because blah, 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 blah. And they won't come and pick me up. You better go pick her up. You better take her to her appointment. Okay. She's late. Okay. And Mm. she needs that medication. And you know that. Okay. Yeah. Do your service. But the wonderment, papi, that W, wonderment, vuelo, vuela, okay? My, mm. You know, that wonderment, that, oh, my God, the sky is purple. I love this. Yeah. Oh, or like how I know that I'm in the zone when my time suspends. When I'm with a client, an hour will turn into two and a half. I've oh, yeah. experienced that already. Okay, I have experienced that. And I was like, oh, what's happening? That's not for you right now. This is the elements working with you. This is not for you to go. Mm. And I can turn time into infinity plus plus. Okay. I, no. just, I like that I can turn time into infinity. Oh man, that's so that's so powerful. And I really hope that those words really take anchor into the heart because that is one of the biggest traps I've seen in this whole process of people unfolding and awakening is when you take the blessings you get for granted and you try to replicate them and you try to control them and you try to dictate them versus just allowing grace to flow. It's like, Oh yeah, that's beautiful, man. That's what it's about. Puppies. Because it's all around you. Got, I mean, it's all around us, and the mm-hmm. energies are. So, what kind of environment? Two things that I always go to. Number one is how am I representing myself as a healer? Am I approachable? Do I look comfortable enough to go? What I represent? Right? Can I roll this sleeve up right now? And can I get into some curismo? Can I get? Who needs what? Okay. Am I available? One, two, and three. Okay. What do we need today? Okay. Am I available upon my yeah. sir? Okay. Number one, how, what, what am I dressed like? Not to say that I got to dress up to the nines. No, 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 no. Am I comfortable? I am yeah. a dancer. I need to be able to extend with whatever it is that I am wearing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, totally. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. I am about moving the body and popping a squat wherever I need to. Okay. Yeah. If I need to reach that root down to the floor, then I need to do pick up and go and play and do right now. If I'm mm. in that zone and in that mode, then I'm representing myself well to my love, my my virgin, my God, my trees, my rain, all of that. I'm representing the authentic self. Mm. Number two is my craft. Number two, I go yeah. to. I always about when I talk about my craft, my palms activate like crazy. What am I made out of? Amor. Okay. So I love that. So so when I look at that, I go, okay, mira que alrededor de mí. What is around me right now that represents what has taken these are three laurel leaves that have been used already. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they I, I love to save them because I'm very symbolic about the healing. Okay. Mm. And so I have a lot of them that hang up like that. Okay. And then later on, I sometimes use them as rattles because they make that sound. Now, I have all of the things around me that represent who I am. So what is that craft? I use that laurel Mm. leaf to do some kind of cleansing. Okay. Mm. I use my tools. Do I know about the egg wash? Do I know about the style that Joselito uses his Reiki? 
do I know about seeking, generating energy? How that craft, how do I apply that technique to to little Joe who doesn't understand this? So how do I look mm -hmm. at his body language, tweak it and go, this is going to resonate for you. You're going to really yeah. feel, oh, Joselito. I always go back to those two things. Yeah. The representation of the healer and number two, the craft. Yeah. And then it resets everything. All my insecurities. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was worried about that bill. Oh, shit. Let me worry about number one and number two. Let me worry mm. about number one and number two. Yeah. Because the craft will come. Okay. The craft will come. We don't know. We think we got to learn it. That's why I always say the books are going to get you so far. The videos yeah. are going to get you so far. 100%. 100%. And you said it so subtly, but it's a word that I always have to highlight. Play. Oh my gosh. You, you got to play. And you know, it's, it's that essence of just enjoying the experience you're doing. Like if you're not enjoying your life, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, if you're not showing up for yourself in that aspect of living love for you, then how do we ever expect that energy to seep into anything right. else? Right. Absolutely. Mm. How? Como? Yeah. <laughs> you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> you want to say? <laughs> it's all beautiful. You know, it is. I, we live this beautiful world. I mean, I well, let me speak for myself. I love being a part of the trees. I love being a part of the wind. I love being a part of the grass. I love being a part of the dirt. I love mm. being a part of the all of the above okay i love being in those elements i love being fruitful i love just knowing that i'm not going anywhere right <laughs> see this isn't I it just, this isn't it no matter what happens here this ain't right. it i just went like i'm not done <laughs> right you know like i just closed my eyes and i just went oh i'm not done okay and it doesn't That's mean beautiful. physically but i do find myself more and more understanding that I am not a slug. <laughs> I am, I am not, I, I am aligning things. Cause yeah. remember we talked about the hassles, right? Oh my God, I yeah. got to get up. I got to turn this candle on. I got to do this. Yeah. The hassles. You're a beautiful production. Is the production a hassle? It's oh. a beautiful thing to create. I really like that line of a production because I constantly use the, the imagery of, you know, life is a divine film. And if you just allow yourself to kick back in the theater of the mind and just enjoy it, it'll unfold and play such miraculous. You'd be beauties. amazed at how many beautiful spirit guides are back. They're pulling the curtain for you. Exactly. How many are lighting you? How many of you are doing the rusty technique, right? Yeah, just like taking notes. Be like, oh, we'll need to rusty enter technique. seat here. Okay, ready and enter and zoom in camera three. You know, all of that stuff is going on. You know, and I think that yeah. that's one of the reasons why I look at everything with an artistic, like you, like uh, from an artistic standpoint, because it is about being in the moment and being in the experience. How deeper in the moment can I get? That's <sighs> what I want to bring to the table. How if, deeper in the moment can I get? Oh, how, juicy. Can, that, that, that's fun work to me. Okay, so other people are like, ah, I had a I had a client come in and she's starting to see some angels. And she's like, this is too much work. I just want to go back to being a housewife. And I'm going, sorry, babe. Yeah. Well, and that was what I think is really unique about your whole path into this is because we've interviewed people in the past. I know quite a few who their upbringing and they were so ingrained in those really more strict religions and practices that everything that they had naturally unfolding, they demonized themselves over. Yes. And they thought, and it's like what you mentioned earlier about like the mental health aspect, like they thought they were corrupt. They thought they were devils. They thought they were possessed for their entire lives up until like, maybe like, I think one of the people we interviewed, I think she was in her late fifties. Um, and I know personally, there's a few that they're in their forties that they just realized that it's like, oh, it wasn't, I'm actually not crazy. It was just like, can you imagine that whole experience of yours, if like there was no connection with that root of the ancestral line of just healers, that was crazy. It's crazy. That, that was something within itself. I mean, I, when I look at that, that's just the only way I know. And I'm really grateful for that reading about my grandfather and I being in all our lives. 
Uh, as a matter of fact, she mm. said that we were actually in the church one time. I was a nun and he was one of the preachers. So we've been in all of these lives together. And and she goes, we're not letting go. You're not letting go of each other. And he has come to tell me that when it's my time, he's going to be the first one here to come and get me. That, that, that's clear. That's, yeah. that's mm. clear. Mm. That's so powerful, like being able to tap into this stuff, man. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> you are so <laughs> welcome. Such a I, I know we can sit here and talk for hours, for hours. I do have to run, my friends. I do yeah. have to run. Um, I have a beautiful salt, full moon salt bowl ceremony. Have you ever guys done that before? Mm, not the salt, not the salt bowl, but done some ceremonies. <laughs> You take all of these things. Maybe we should do one for our men's circle. You bring a big old bowl of salt. You bring the things that you want to get rid of. You burn business cards, money, and you pass this bowl around with incense and you put essential oils in it. And we it's another way of yes. banishing and bringing in kind yeah. of a thing. You know? Yeah. We'll have to dabble. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. And you got to remember, this is, I'm about the curismo. I'm learning about other, other ways, you know, like mm -hmm. the full moon, the half moon, the purple moon, the yellow moon, the green moon, the, the gay moon, you know, whatever moon, right? <laughs> whatever. Yeah. But it's, I always go back to what feels right. And you know, in your heart, what feels right. So anyway, my friends, I hope this wow. interview was enough for y'all. For me, it was. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, thank so, you so much for sticking around for the after show. The yeah. after show. All right, <laughs> puppies. We'll be seeing you guys very soon, right? Andale pues. Take care. Love you. Roll the outro. Thanks again to our sponsors for making this show possible. Thank you, We Are Storically, for your conscious human apparel. Shop online at wearehistorically.com. Raise your vibration and energize your life with specialized Fibonacci tuning forks that deepen meditations and empower self-healing. Get your vibrational sound tools for personal enhancement at energybodytuners.com. Thank you for joining us. Have a happy always. I understand being in your position of being the speaker where you're speaking and you're just blanking out. You don't have any recall of what it is that you, you spoke about. When, when we're in the moment, especially when we have these type of organic chats where there's no preparation, we just kind of have some broad, like you said, broad strokes on some topics. Okay, what do you want to discuss? And then we dive into them, but we never know what's going to unfold. And, and being, you know, my experience as a speaker, there's always the things I want to talk about and then there's the things I actually talked about. And then later on, I'm going through my head going, I wish I had talked about this, right? There's there's always the woulda, coulda, shoulda, but most of the time, I don't remember what it was that I talked about. Exactly. And so that one, <laughs> that one. Mm. So, and, and, and that part about the banishing where I got really emotional too, um, Peter, was when we were talking about when you when when you banish when I'm walking by you and you just feel that and I'm I'm in the zone I don't yeah. freaking know what the frick I just know that this is this shit's got to get out of the room that's all mm -hmm. I know okay right yeah. that's all I know so to hear that from that other side and I think that a lot of that too comes from that ah am I doing this right you know mm. am I doing this right so yeah. I I don't I don't feel like I left anything out. Really? So I just feel like they're, as long as you think that I flowed and I wasn't like, oh, uh, can you repeat the question, please? No, you did great, man. <laughs> it's, it's, you could tell that the practice and the youth has come through because it's, it's just the effortless aspect. And I, that's again, it's okay. one of the, okay. it's the, cool. it's the, it's the bridge of authenticity. You know, you don't have to fake being you. you, you, there's no act to you. And that's one of the things that I've always found is always so sincere and genuine and just like, that type of just heart expression, you know, every aspect of your life becomes that creative expression of love and beautiful it. and being able to see you in the element when you're when you're moving and like even just through this conversation man, like movement has changed. Like I actually 
a lot, I got a few downloads, but it was just the, when you did the hand, when it was like, and you're extending beyond the fingers, you're going mm-hmm. beyond the hand. It was just like, oh my gosh, because your energy does. And you're like legit, like reaching out and you can Whistle! expand. Yeah, you can expand <laughs> that energy and contract it and bring it back, expand to the room, open it back to you, like close it back to yourself. There like, it is. Yeah, it's it's so trippy. It was just like this whole breathing, contraction, relaxation process just went in with even how we breathe when we move. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mine's going crazy right now. <laughs> like talk about your last message was be authentic. You are the embodiment <laughs> of authenticity. That's what I, okay, good. Cause that's my thing. That is the A, that is the A, okay, yeah. for yeah. me. Mm. Because yeah, I, be, because you think about being compared and comparing yourself and I'm not this, no, I'm me. And what you see is what you get, okay? Mm. What you see is what you get and I'm okay with that now. And if I'm okay with it and you're not, I won cause I'm okay. Right, and I'm because I'm okay, so I won. Okay, that concludes this episode of Creatives Chat. Thank you for watching our show. Click the bell button to get notified of future episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Located at Four Sisters Holistic Remedies in Renton, Washington, his work includes Limpias, energy cleanses, egg cleanses, banishing ceremonies, spirit alignment, tarot readings, and working with ancestors. Yeah.